So getting closer and closer to the point where I'm going to be leaving China and I'm thinking about that transition of what will I miss in China when I'm in Denmark. And I went through the same kind of questioning when I was in Japan and coming to China thinking those questions. What will I miss from Japan when I'm in China? And it's important for me to document this because I kind of forget those questions. So on this uh, vlog, as you can call it, it's asking those questions. So I was thinking to myself, um, I'll probably miss our IE. And that's a person that does our cleaning twice a week. And when we're in Denmark, we're not going to have that. So we have to do those things ourselves. Probably miss a uh, foot massage. That's for sure. Um, and I'm guessing there's going to be conveniences that you find in China. One of the things you can do is last minute planning and things get done sort of instantaneously. I'm guessing in Denmark you have to plan way in advance before something happens. You can't do last minute kind of operations. I know I'm going to miss this place. This is the Muslim noodle shop. This is where I go a lot for my lunches. And you can see noodles. I'm always going there for lunch. It's just a, it's like a ramen noodle but it's made from scratch right here. I know that'd be something on this. I'll probably be looking in Denmark finding ramen shops something close to this. I'm guessing I'm gonna miss this kind of stuff. This chaos. I know in Denmark they have bikes and they have bike lanes. They've got them here, but we've got a bit more chaos. Um, it'll be interesting to see the, the different transportation that you have in Denmark. And they have all their bikes here. Lots of electric sort of scooters. It'll be interesting to see what is over there. Hey, look at that scooter right there. It'd be interesting to know what the haircut experience is in Denmark. Here, um, they don't have any proper barber shops. They've got all these hairdresser places. And that's one of the things I've missed in from Japan is a good proper barber shop. And I'm curious will Denmark have a proper style barbershop? If they do, I'll be happy. You know, when I say proper barbershop, men's barbershop. A shave that takes about an hour, that kind of thing. This is uh, one of the local dumpling places, steam bun place. I'm sure that's not available. And even in places where I've seen it available. It's tremendously expensive. Yeah. Food, I think food things will be the one I miss a lot. But then I think the breads and the bakery stuff that you find in Denmark, I love. Do you see all the trees here? So many trees here. Look over there on the side. This is special about Nanjing, I think. We just have a lot of trees and it's green all year round. And I'm guessing I'm going to miss that aspect. Uh, on my, what I've been doing is walking virtually through Denmark or Copenhagen. And I noticed a lot of the streets, they have beautiful architecture. They've got these wonderful sidewalks, but they don't have any trees. And I'm going to be curious what's going to be my reaction. And I'm trying to prepare myself to come to expect that the, tr the 
In the city of Copenhagen, there's not a lot of trees. You'll find trees in parks, but along the sides of the roads, I'm suspecting I'm gonna miss that aspect of the abundance of green that we see here all year round. Something, something I always take for granted is this really nice uh, garden that the school has, and this is, I think, unique to to our school. We get to pass through it every day as we're walking into the building and to our offices. And all through the year, you've got a different look. So in the fall, it's, you've got the fall colors. In the spring, you've got the spring colors. Now you've got the summer. And just another example of the greenness that we have. I know I'll miss this one. So those are just some notes of what I think I'll miss. I'll post this and make another post maybe in Denmark to confirm or deny any of these suspicions of what is missed. That's the great thing about travel and going to a different place is you form these different stereotypes of the new place that you're going to go and then you find out later how incorrect or correct you are with those stereotypes. We'll see.